In this video, I am going to demonstrate the use of the scanner class that allows you to get user input uh, from the keyboard. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, class here called scanner test. Go in here, and as usual, I'm going to get rid of everything in the template and say public class scanner test, one, two, three, and class scanner, okay. And then I'm going to say public static void main string args one two three and method main so this is our template for our program okay so to use scanner you have to do three things the first thing you're going to do is you're going to say import java.util.scanner this imports the necessary code for the scanner to work it's a built-in class that takes care of the uh, scanning of the keyboard then I'm going to create a scanner object, I'll say scanner input equals new scanner system dot in. This may not make complete sense at this point, but it's just a line you type in to actually make a scanner. We're going to create a new scanner object. And then I'm going to say, I'm going to, to store that input somewhere, I'm going to make a string called statement, whatever statement they time it, type in. And I'm going to say, hey, input, get the next line that the person types in. Okay. So those are the three lines that make the scanner work. Really, there's actually a fourth. I'm going to put a system.out.print line here. Say testing a scanner class. Um, I'm putting this here so that we can get an output window because if you don't put this here, no output window will occur or window will, will, will appear so you can actually type in things. So you actually need that line there. Um, and then finally, to test this, I'm going to type in. Let's print the statement. Okay. So import the scanner, make a scanner object, get the next line. Uh, this line right here again is just to pop up a window so you actually can type into. If you don't put this here, uh, the program will run, but nothing will, will be seen on the screen. And this is just a check. Okay. So let's close this up, compile it, and let's run it. Let me pull this window up here a little bit. So there's testing of the scanner class. Okay. And I'm going to type in computer. So I typed in computer and it printed out the word computer. Just as a uh, test here, if I didn't have this line there, if I didn't initially make a screen appear, compile it, which would be fine. And if I ran the program, nothing would pop up on the screen. So that first statement, and if you can see this little red bar here turning, I can right click it and reset the machine so it stops. Go back in and print that there. So. Uh, Scanner needs this first line to appear so that you can actually get a window to type into. Other than that, um, we get the next line and we can print out the statement. And uh, in future videos, I'll talk about some of the other uh, things you can do with strings, like getting the length and substrings and, and trimming the uh, text and whatnot. 